She also tends to remember the positive things more. This is definitely why I had no problem fucking dudes with no job, no education, no cars, and still living with their moms back in the day. Why you need to stop chasing her now? You should never chase a woman, okay? Stop that. You're just going for a bag of trouble. That while most guys chase tail and she's used to that, you know, guys being lap dogs for her, guys being so thirsty for her, like, hey girl, what's up girl, what's up girl, what's up girl, or hey, you're really pretty, I think you're really beautiful. Oh my God, I would love to take you out sometime. When are you free, I would like to take you out sometime. When they come across a guy who's like, us girls are like, wait, like everybody wants me. Why doesn't he? It inflates her ego. Unfortunately, there are many women with extremely inflated egos that feel as though they are the one and only prized possession. So when a man chases a woman, it feeds further into this idea, leading her to treat you as if you are her servant. So here's the thing. Let's just cut to the chase. I want you to watch this video. I really want you to watch this video. I, I, I need you to watch this video. Please watch this video. Please stay to the end. Please watch this video. Please watch all of my YouTube videos. Please, 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 please. Don't go, stay right here. Don't ever leave me. Don't ever leave my YouTube channel. We just stay on my YouTube channel for the rest of your life. Please, please, please. How does that make you feel? <laughs> does it make you feel exciting, excited to want to be here? Or is it like, Ew, okay, chick, like calm down, easy, I get it. Like you're trying to promote your YouTube channel, I understand, but chill the F out. Is by having all of your focus on this one woman, it's gonna stop you from seeing all of the amazing opportunities that are around there for you to meet other people. Women are attracted to a man like that is focused and driven on himself and is grounded on him in the beginning. And when the cord is cut, the cord of energy, I call it, that you just went into I don't care mode, they start to get curious, which brings mystery, which brings um, curiosity to them. And they wanna know what you're up to, what you're doing, if your things are new, what is new about you, things that are happening. And a lot of women, unfortunately, have that kind of mindset. They have that mentality to where, you know, a man is beneath me, you're supposed to cater to me, and I don't gotta do shit for you. They don't understand that it's a two-way street. Why are you doing that to yourself? Stop rescuing. If you rescue, you treat her like a child, she's gonna act like a child, and that's gonna be the dynamic forever. We all as people only have a limited amount of like mental headspace, time, energy, and all of those other resources. So at the moment, all of your resources seem to be channeled towards getting this particular outcome with a person or with her. And instead, imagine if you could take some of that time and energy back and you could devote it to the purpose of meeting other new people around you, then suddenly that would make you feel really abundant, your self-esteem would improve, she would actually probably seem a bit less important to you and you'd have more balance in your life. And once you get to this point, it piques their interest, right? And a lot of times people want what they can't have. And ultimately, I know it sucks at times, but it shouldn't last forever, okay? Because that's unhealthy behavior to want something you can't have forever. I wanna remind you guys, when you do this, doesn't even matter about getting her to chase you. If you become the best version of yourself, if your mentality gets right, your money gets right, all that gets right, and it's like, wow, you're this new version, and you seem different from these other guys because you know game, hmm, who's stopping you? All the girls are really gonna be probably chasing.